Hello friends, are you ready for more fun? I hope you are because today we're going to visit the beautiful country of South Africa. By the way, did you know that South Africa looks like a rhino's head? That's right, and this fun coincidence is even more interesting when you consider that the majority of rhinos live in Africa. It's crazy! If you want to learn more about South Africa, don't forget to download the activity pack in the description below. You can also watch our video about Cape Town and Kruger National Park. Now let's continue with the adventure! As its name makes clear, South Africa is located in the African continent and it's surrounded by Namibia, Botswana, and Zimbabwe to the north, Mozambique and Eswatini to the east, the South Atlantic to the west, and the Indian Ocean to the south. Also, South Africa completely surrounds the country of Lesotho. That's right, there's an entire country within South Africa. These kinds of countries are called enclaved countries. Now let's take a look at South Africa's flag. The flag has two horizontal bands of red and blue, separated by a horizontal green letter Y, which embraces a black triangle. It also has white and yellow stripes. It's a very colorful flag, don't you think? These colors were taken from the flag of the South African Republic and the flag of the African National Congress. But what about the language? Well, check this out. South Africa has 11 official languages. Debeli, Pedi, Sotho, Swati, Tsonga, Swana, Benda, Zosa, Zulu, Afrikaans, and English. Let's learn some words of one of the most popular languages, Afrikaans. To say good morning, we say Himora. And to say goodbye, we say Totsins or Tata. Repeat after me Himora and Totsins. To say thank you, we say Danki. And Asiblif to say please. You can also say Fasoning, Faskunmai, and Excus to say excuse me. Don't forget to say Angenami Kenis when meeting someone. Now let's count together. Repeat after me. One is in, two is tvi, three is drei, four is vier, and five is five. Well done! Okay, now let's take a look at South Africa's landscapes and places. Did you know that South Africa has three capital cities? Yes, Cape Town, Bloemfontein, and Pretoria. If you want to know more about Cape Town, don't miss our next video. There are more cities in South Africa, like Soweto, Durban, and the biggest one, Johannesburg. But I know what you're thinking, what about the nature? South Africa is definitely known for its natural landscapes, like the Lisbon Falls in Mpamalanga. With towering 308 feet, these are the highest falls in, in Pamalanga, and you can find it on the panorama route just north of Grasskop. Another great example of natural beauty is the Oribi Gorge Nature Reserve in KwaZulu Natal. This 15 mile long gorge is surrounded by tall sandstone cliffs. It's perfect for some hiking and birding, don't you think? But if you're looking for something a little bit more relaxing, you can visit the Dolphin Coast in KwaZulu Natal. This beautiful coast starts at the Tongat River and ends in Zinkwazi Beach and includes popular holiday towns like Balito, Umdlati, and Salt Rock. And in case you're wondering, yes, you can see some dolphins here. But we can't talk about South Africa's nature without mentioning the animals, can we? And what better way to start than talking about a group of animals that you probably already know, the Big Five. Do you remember which animals are from the Big Five? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll tell you. These are the elephant, buffalo, leopard, lion, and rhino. Other popular animals in South Africa are the baboon, hippopotamus, chameleon, and springbok, which is the national animal of South Africa. And in the oceans around the country, you can find whales and sharks, especially the great white shark, which can sometimes grow up to 23 feet long, almost half the length of a basketball court. Imagine that. By the way, did you know that there are also penguins in South Africa? Yeah, I'm not joking. There are three penguin colonies in South Africa. One of the penguin sites is Boulders Beach near Cape Town, where you can even swim with penguins. That's awesome! Now that we saw some of the South African animals, let's talk about something a bit more dynamic. Sports! The most popular sports in South Africa are rugby, cricket, and especially soccer. Known in South Africa as football, soccer is so popular and the players are so good that there's no wonder why some of them have left to play for international clubs like Aaron Makona and Delron Buckley and Benny McCarthy. South Africa's also hosted 
the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Nice! Some other very talented athletes from South Africa are the golfer Gary Player, the cricket player Kepler Wessels, and the runner Zola Bud. Talking about sports got me hungry. What do you say if we look at the South African cuisine? The boba tea is a great example of South African food, and although some people think the original recipe is actually from the Netherlands, there's no doubt South Africans love it. This delicious dish is prepared with minced meat, spiced and medium heat curry, turmeric, garlic, lemon zest, onions, herbs, salt, and pepper, and then topped with an egg and milk mixture placed back into the oven to set. Also very popular in the country are biltong and drovers, which are very similar to jerky, potiekos, and tasty stew with meat and vegetables in the melktet or milk tart, a delicious dessert made with a sweet pastry crust and filled with a very light cheesecake. It looks and tastes just like milk. Now that we're full of energy for all that delicious food, let's talk about the South African traditions and culture. As I mentioned before, there are 11 official languages in South Africa, which means there are a lot of different cultures and traditions. One of these traditions is the Zulu dance. Most Zulu dances take place during ceremonies and special occasions, and both men and women are required to wear special attire. Unmarried and young men dance in separate groups, and occasionally the married women and men break in and join the festivities. Married women utter a quavering shrill known as uku kikiza. While the young women dance, the young men clap and play the drum. And speaking of dances, we can't forget the Indlamu dance, the Isikatamiya, Soki, and the Royal Red Dance. Now, before we finish our adventure, here's another interesting fact about South Africa. Did you know that the first ever heart transplant was made in Cape Town, South Africa? Yes! In case you didn't know, sometimes when people's hearts get really sick and can't be cured with medicine, they need to change it for a healthier one. Nowadays, this happens all the time. But back in 1967, 53-year-old Louis Washkansky was the first person to have a heart transplant. This happened in, at the Groot Shore Hospital in Cape Town, and the surgeon was Dr. Christian Bernard. And those are just a few fun facts about South Africa. If you want to visit this awesome country, the best time of year to visit is between May and October, which brings perfect weather conditions to admire the beautiful wildlife. Also, keep in mind that the total flight duration from the United States to South Africa is 18 hours, and from Europe is 11 hours. So make sure to bring something fun like a toy or a book to not get bored, and a pillow to have some well-deserved sleep. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to subscribe if you want to see more. Tutsins friende. That's Afrikaans for ciao, friends.